and let's begin. This is going to be a session of yoga strength and uh, it's going to be a little bit intensive but um, I think uh, we're all strong enough um, mentally and physically so we'll be able to push and we'll be able to accomplish a lot today. We're going to use weights. I suggest using a two pound, three pound or a five pound weight. Um, if you've been regular with this practice, push yourself to take a little bit of a higher weight now. You can always drop it down, but it's really important, especially as you age and for women in their 40s, to do a little bit of strength training. So it's never too late to start. And if you've been doing this, try and push and take a bit of a heavier weight. You can always do one arm at a time, or you can completely drop it, but um, try to go a little bit further. So you're, you continue to keep that muscle mass and you're not losing it as you age. Um, so this is going to be about a 40 minute routines. It's going to go by really fast. It's going to be fun. And if you don't have weights, you can do definitely do it without weights. But when you're doing it without weights, try to engage your muscles. So maybe uh, close your fists or hold a soda can or a food can or something. So those muscles are engaged and they're not just lying limp. All right, let's begin. We start in child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch. And open your knees wide open, as far wide as your mat. Slowly walk your fingers forward to the top of your mat. And rest your forehead on the mat. Connecting your third eye to Mother Earth. Surrendering yourself to your practice. And to the next 40 minutes, devote this time to yourself, to self-care. And shut out everything else that's happening around you. Start to connect with your breath. Inhaling through the nose. And make it a conscious breath. As you inhale, really fill your belly. Let your belly fall. And then open your mouth. Exhale. Exhale maybe longer than your inhale. Beautiful. Do a few more at your own pace. Inhaling really deep. Filling your belly, filling your lungs. Opening your mouth as you exhale. Letting out a big hard sound like you're fogging up a mirror. One more inhale. Open your mouth. Exhale. Beautiful. Slowly come into a tabletop, walk your hands in closer, walk your knees in. So you're stacking your hips over your knees and your shoulders over your wrists. Look down so there are no creases at the back of your neck. And a small bend in your elbows so you're not hyperextending and you're not hurting your joints, you're actually protecting your joints by, by adding that small bend to your elbows. We're going to warm up the spine with cat and cows. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your hips up, lift your chest up, look up for cow. Exhale, round your back, straighten your arms, pull your chin into your chest for cat. Inhale again for cow, dropping your belly, lift your hips up, look up. Exhale, tuck your tailbone in, chin to chest, round your back for cat. Do two more at your own pace. Inhaling, matching your movement to your breath. Look up for cow. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest for cat. One more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back to your neutral spine. We're going to set up for spinal balance. Press your left palm into the mat. Extend your right arm forward. Extend your left leg back. So a couple of options. You can, if you're new to this, you can place your toes on the mat. If you've done this, been doing this for a while, hold your left leg up in line with your hips. Flex your foot so your heel is in line with your hips. Extend your right arm forward. Hold it here. Find that strength, that balance, that stability. 
You can stay here or if you want to take it a little bit further, bend your left knee, bend your right arm and reach for your left foot. Open your chest up towards the right. Look up. Standing up for a half bow. Hold it here for three, two, one. Slowly extend back into your tabletop. Then to the other side. Press your right palm into the mat. Extend your left arm forward. Right leg back. Right off the bat, flex your right foot. So your toes are pointing towards your knees. Every muscle in your leg is engaged. Small bend in your right elbow. Hold it here. If you're shaking, it's good. Pull your belly button in to engage your core. And then you can stay here or if you want to go a little bit further, bend your right knee, bend your left elbow, grab your right foot from the outside, open up towards your left in a half bow. Hold it here for three, shaking is good, two, and one, slowly extend your arm forward, leg back, and come back into your tabletop. From here, tuck your toes, push your hips back towards your heels, lift up into a downward facing dog. So take your time to set up your dog, pressing your chest close to your thighs, pull your belly button in. A small bend in your knee is okay, it's actually good that's what increases the length in your spine. Press your palms into the mat. Spread your fingers wide. Lift your kneecaps towards your quadriceps. And firm your upper outer arms. Relax your head. Stay in stillness. Taking deep breath in. And out. Beautiful. Slowly come onto your toes, bend your knees, and either stop, step forward, or walk forward, tiptoe forward, however you want to make it to the top of your mat, and fold. Chest on your thighs, relax the top of your head. Small bend in your knee. If your lower back is hurting, you're feeling a pinch, you can go deeper with the bend in your knee. On your next inhale, slide your fingers up your shin halfway to a flat back. It's really important that you set up this pose correctly. So you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Again, find length in your spine. Look down like you're peering off a cliff. Inhale here. Exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees and slowly roll all the way up to standing. One vertebra at a time, your head comes up last. Roll your shoulders up, back, down, forward. One more time. Up, back, down, and forward. This is your mountain pose, Samasthiti, also called Tadasana. This is an active pose, squeezing your glutes, you're pulling your belly button in, toes are together, your every muscle of your leg is engaged. Take a deep breath in and out. We're going to set up for a one-legged mountain. So ground your left foot. Shift your weight into your left foot. Spread all five toes of your left foot. And inhale, pull your right knee up. So you're going to be working on balance. Flex your right foot. Hold your right knee in line with your hip or higher. If you're here, it's okay. But do that little extra work to pull your right knee up, pulling it in line with your hip. Inhale your hands up. You can stay here. Or if you want to go a little bit deeper, open twist to the right. But remember, focus on your hips. So your hips should be squared facing the top of your mat. So you don't want to be doing this as you open up. If this is happening to you, don't open as wide. Maybe open a little bit narrow. But do the work with your legs to keep both hips squared. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Lower slowly. Inhale your hands up. Ground, hands down. 
Round your right foot, shift your weight into your right foot, spread your all five toes on your right foot and then inhale your left leg up, flex your left foot, your knee is in line with your hips. Inhale your hands up, stay here or open twist to the left. So opening your arms wide, keeping your hips squared. Priority is keeping your hips facing the front of your mat and only if your hips are facing forward, can you go a little bit deeper in your twist? Look towards your left fingers, hold it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come all the way up. Lower your left leg, hands down by your side. Beautiful. Moving on, we throw flow through the vinyasa. Inhale, reach up, one breath throw movement. Exhale, fold forward, lead through your chest. Place your palm down onto the mat. Inhale, slide your fingers up your shin halfway to a flat back. Exhale, place your hands down to the mat, bend your knees, step far back, high plank. So we're going to be here for a few breaths as you set up your high plank. Squeeze your glutes, pull your belly button in to support your lower back. Push the mat away from you, almost creating a dome with your upper back. And this is, if this is too much, you can always come down on your knees. But if you're on your knees, maintain the integrity of your plank. So one more breath in and out. And then slowly lower all the way down onto your mat. So the slower you go, the more engagement of your muscles. Untuck your toes. Place your palms underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lift your head up, lift your chest up, cobra. Exhale, roll all the way down. One more step. Inhale, lift your chest up, working your lower back. Look up, cobra. Exhale, lower all the way down. Beautiful. On your next inhale, tuck your toes, push up into a high plank. Avoid dipping. Use your strength, push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. This is your home base. This is your rest pose. And you always have the option to take a child's pose. Moving on. Inhale. Come up high on your toes. Bend your knees. Walk a step to the top of your mat. This time, safely grab your weights. Bring them to heart center. And sit low in chair pose. So your feet are together. Knees are together. Chest is lifted. The weight is in your heels, you should almost be able to lift your toes off the mat. So you're going to start with narrow rows. Extend your arms forward and back. Forward and back. So stay low. You're pushing the weight forward, pulling it back. Look at my elbows. I'm reaching my elbows really high up behind me. So it's down and back. I'm low in my chair. You're starting to work your triceps as well as your biceps here. Keep breathing. Sit low for eight, seven, six, five. In four, we're going to hit the tricep kickbacks. Three, two, and one. Hold your elbows high. Extend your forearms back. Bring your weights to your hips. Extend your forearms back. Bring your weights to your hips. So keep your elbows high. So engaging your triceps here. Extend back and forward. Back and forward. Lift your elbows a little bit higher. You got this. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You pulse up in four. Three. You'll we'll extend your arms out in two. And one. Hold your arms up. Wrist face up, palms are open and pulse up, 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 up. You got this for eight. Sit low. Seven, six. Lift up higher for four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Shake it off. Bring your waist to heart center. So I'm going to set up a squat. I'm actually going to face you for this one. You can stay facing the front of your mat or you can face forward. So heel to your feet out, about shoulder width apart. Heels are in, toes point out, regular frog squats. Here we go. 
down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So we are at heart center. Push your body back. Keep your chest lifted. And when you come up, squeeze your glutes. So you can start to speed it up a bit. Down and up. Down and up. Down, up. Move with your breath. Move at your own pace. Listen to your body. So the goal is you're going to reach down and up. Eight, seven, six, pulsing in five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down and pulse. So hold it down. It's almost like sitting in your chair. Booty back. You're going to pulse for four, three, two, one. Stay there. Hold. Now come up high on your right heels. You've come up high on your right toes. Right heel is lifted. Hold it there for four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Come up high on your left toes for four, three. You know both sides are coming. Two and one. Come up high on both for four, three, two and one. Nice job. Shake it off. Come all the way up. Great job, everyone. Moving on, inhale, bring your weights to heart center. Exhale, fold forward, drop your weights. Place your hand, palms on the mat, bend your knees, step back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga or knees chest chain, low plank. Inhale, cobra or if upward dog is part of your practice, go for it. Big exhale. Downward facing dog. Again, this is your home base. Take a few breaths here. If you want to take a break, child's pose is okay. Deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Moving on. Inhale. Your right leg up. So then it doesn't matter how high your right leg is. What you want to focus on is engaging every muscle of your leg. So flex your foot, no bend in the knee. Inhale here one more time. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Shift forward to a plank, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Beautiful. Inhale, extend straight up. We do it one more time. Right knee to right elbow. Beautiful. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, step your right foot all the way through in between your hands. If your foot didn't quite make it, it's okay. Let's say you landed somewhere here. Use your right hand to walk your right foot forward. Make sure your fingers are in line with your toes. Once you have this, press your left arm into the mat and open twist to the right. So you're in a low lunge. You're still working your twist. Twist, reach your right fingers up towards the ceiling. Finding length in your spine and going deeper in your twist, opening your heart up towards the right side. One more inhale here. Exhale, lower your right hand down onto the mat. Safely grab your weights, bring them to heart center and then using your core, come all the way up to a high crescent. Inhale your hands up. Exhale your hands down to heart center. We're going to go for up and down lunge with a hammer curl. So go down and up. Down and up. So your weights are vertical. Down and up. You're going to engage your upper arms. Down and up. Big bend in your front knee. Down, up. Down and up. Keep going. For eight, seven, six, your pace, five, you'll pulse in four, three, two, and one, hold it down and pulse. So see if you can bring your back knee to hover. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, freezing your legs in three, two, one, freeze your legs. Now come up high. 
on your right toes. Lift your right heel. Shaking is okay. Hold and breathe for four, three, two, one. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, lower your left heel down. Big bend in your right knee. Open your arms out. Set up for warrior two. I'm going to face you guys. So your right foot points towards the top of your mat. Big bend in your right knee. Your left foot is grounded. You're pressing into the outer edge of your left foot. Bring your arms out. W your arms since you have weights in them. So you're protecting your joints. And then bring your arms forward. 90 degrees with your upper arm and your forearm. I'm going to set up for lateral lifts. So you inhale, lift up. Lifting arms to shoulder level. Exhale, bring them back down. Inhale, lift up and exhale. If you want a little bit more, you're going to add a compound movement with the leg. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Engaging every muscle. Beautiful. Up and down. You're here for eight, seven. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you lift. Five, four, in three, you hold your weights up. Two, and one, just hold. Big bend, warrior two legs. You're holding your arms up 90 degrees. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, beautiful release. Bring your weights to heart center. Release your weights. Bring your arms in front of you for frontal lifts. So you can do one or two weights at a time. You can do one, this is two. Lift up and lower, up and lower. And if your arms are starting to tire, you can always do one arm at a time. Up, down, alternating the arms. Keep the bend in your right leg. Up and down. Keep going for eight, seven, six, five, four. You'll hold it up in three, two, and one. Hold it there. Stay there. Breathe. That's okay. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release weights at heart center. Reverse warrior. So when you have weights in your hand, reverse warrior is just a straight arm. Beautiful. Inhale here. Exhale your weights back to heart center. Freeze your legs. You're going to turn your torso towards your right foot. Keep your right weight, right hand at your waist. And then we're going to lean over the left hand. So you're going to reach down and forward. And then just more. Like you're starting a long over. Your left hand up. So you're rowing down and up, down and up. And once you have this motion, I want you to add some mobility to your shoulder. So you go down, up and rotate. So you're going to go down, up and rotate. So if you want that little extra bit, go for it. Push down, pull up, rotate. Keep going for four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Straighten your right leg. Heel to your feet together. We're setting up for star pose. Heel in, toes out. Extend your arms straight out. So you're a big, big white star. We're going to pulse down and up. Here we go. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Again, move at your own pace. You can go faster than this or slower. You're pulling your elbows close to your ribs. You're pushing the weights and you're pulling the weights. So you're doing the work. It's just not a lay movement. Let's do four more. Three, down, up, up. Two, down, up, up. One, down, up, up. Hold it down and pulse. So as you pulse, bring your feet to parallel. Same for your feet in, bring your feet to parallel. You're still pulsing for four, three, two, and one, freeze your legs. And then moving your right leg in and out. Here we go. Step it in, stay low in your chair, step it out. 
in, out. Your pace, in, out. Beautiful, in, out. Keep going for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, feel the burn, two, and one. Nice job, beautiful. We get a bit of a break here, walking into a flexible deep heel to your feet even closer. Inhale, lift your chest up, exhale, sit all the way down, Malasana or prayer squat. So heel to your feet in, knees are wide open. Use your elbows to push your knees out. And then I actually want to show you my back in a side view. So avoid rounding your back. Fine length in your back, straight in your back. Create space between each vertebra. So lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Beautiful. We are building in flexibility. And you're actually kind of getting a break, a little bit of cardio break here too. And then drop your left weight. Keep one weight, or you can even do it with two in your right hand, and then we're gonna go for bicep curls. Legs stand down and up. Keep using your elbows to push your knees wide open. Working your biceps, really tighten it, feel it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Grab both weights, bring them to heart center. We're going to come up very slowly. You could expect a head rush here, so exhale as you come up. Take a deep inhale. Exhale very slowly for the count of four, three, two, one. Nice job. Inhale, sit back into your warrior two. Big bend in your right knee. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale your hands back. Pivot off your back leg, come up high on your left heel. Face your right toes. I'm going to set up for up and down lunge again this time, but with bi wider bicep curls. So elbows are in, arms point out. So it's a wide bicep curl. It's a short one. So you have your four, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there and pulse. And you're going to continue to pulse for three. Step your left foot forward for four. Here we go. Pulsing for three, two, and one. Step forward for four. Step it back. Pulse for one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Two more like this. One, two, three, four. Last one. And you'll hold your knee up. One, two, three, and four. So remember the one-legged mountain we did at the beginning of the series. We're working that in. That was part of the warm-up. Lift your left knee up. Hold it in line with your hips. Flex your foot. So you can stay here or inhale your hands up. Beautiful. And then start kicking your left heel out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Finding your balance. It's okay if you fall out. You can get back in. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your waist to half center. Big step back with your left leg. Lower your waist down. Place your palms onto the mat, framing your right foot. Use your core strength to step your right foot back into a high plank. And then lower all the way down into your belly. Look towards the right. Take a few breaths here. Left ear is on the mat. Arms are beside you, palms face up. Reconnect with your breath. Finding a short rest.
and then turn and look over to the left side as you even out your neck. All right, moving on. Give yourself a mini push up and come into a tabletop. So once you have this tabletop, come sitting on your heels. Bring your palms in line with your knees. We're going to work the core a little bit. So once your fingers are in line with your knees, all you're going to do is going to lift your knees up and down. Round your back, lift it up and down. And each one is going to be different. Maybe you're lifting just one inch above the mat. Maybe you're lifting two. Maybe you're lifting three. Wherever you are, you're working your core. Keep going. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job, release. Walk your hands forward, back into a tabletop. Tuck and curl your toes, shift your hips back into your back towards your heels, lift up, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Keep a little the other side to even it out. More than halfway there, beautiful. Inhale your left leg up. Strong straight leg, creating a strong line of energy from your heel to your fingertips. Inhale here, exhale. Shift your weight forward to a plank and bring your left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, lift up. Exhale one more time. Left knee to left elbow. Beautiful. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, step your left foot all the way through in between your hands. Lead with your heels. Beautiful. Set up for your low lunge. Like I said on the other side, you can always use your left hand to walk your foot forward if you didn't make it all the way in between your hands. Press your right palm into the mat and open twist to the left. So you're in a low lunge. Keep a straight line from the crown of your head to your right heel. Find length in your spine as you inhale and as you exhale, go a little bit deeper in the twist. Beautiful. Inhale one more time. Exhale, lower your left hand down onto the mat. Safely grab both weights, bring them to heart center. Inhale your chest up, beautiful. Hands up, find crescent. Bring your weights down, back to heart center. Up and down lunge with the hammer curl, let's do it. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and up. Keep going for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it down and pulse. You got this. You're pulsing. You're strong. Yes, you can. For four, three, two, one. Free your legs. Slowly come up high on your left toes, lifting your left heel, shaking is okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. For four. Three, two, one, and lower. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, right heel down to the mat. Open your arms out to the side, warrior two. Take the time to set up your warrior two. So you're pressing into the outer edge of your right foot. Big bend in your left knee. Stacking your torso over your hips and W your arms. Bring both arms forward, lateral lifts. Inhale, lift up, exhale, lower. Adding the compound movement with your legs. Keep going. Up and down. Up and down. If you're starting to tire, it's okay. You can do one arm at a time. You can slow down, but don't stop. We're almost there. You were so good on the other side. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful release. 
Bring your arms forward, setting up a frontal lift. Again, you can do one or two arms at a time. Lift and lower. So you're going to keep your legs frozen for this one. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. You'll hold it up in two. And one. Hold it there. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, weights at heart center, reverse warrior. Lift your left arm up, beautiful. Inhale your weights to heart center, freeze your legs, turn your torso towards your left foot. You're gonna keep your, right, your left weight at your waist, lawn mower with your right hand, reach forward and back, forward and back. So you're kind of rowing, like the narrow rows we did in chair squat. Push, pull, push, pull. And then if you want a little more, add the rotation. You're adding mobility, you're adding flexibility to your shoulders. Push, pull, and rotate. Keep going for four, three, two, and one. Nice job, weights at heart center. Heel to your feet in, set up for star pose. So strong, you guys. Really, really proud of you. So down, down, up, up, pull, pull, push, push, pull, pull, push, push. Booty back. Weight is in the heels. Use your arms. You're here, so give it your 200%. You made the time for yourself because you're worth it. Pull, pull, push, push forward, down, down, push, push, three, down, push, push, two, down, push, push, last one, down, push, push, hold it down and pulse. So sit low and then as you pulse, bring your feet to parallel. Beautiful. You're going to step your right foot in to meet your right foot. Here we go. In, out, in, out. Stay really low. I know it burns. Go for it. It's the final push. In and up. We can slow it down. In and out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Breathe through it, two, and one, nice job. Heel to your feet in, Malasana, prayer squat. We love this, inhale, expand your chest, exhale. Heel to your feet in, lower all the way down. Bring your weights together. Really opening your hips wide. And for some of you, for some of us who have tight hips, you can always sit on a block. That's okay, you can always sit on a step. That's okay, on a stool, that's okay. Use your elbows to push your knees wide wide open. And think about your spine. If you have a mirror on the side, look towards the side. Find length in your spine. All right, biceps on the left side. One or two weights in your left hand. You're going to roll it out and in. Keep using your right arm, so that's still engaged. That's still working. You're pushing your right knee away. On the left side, in addition to pushing your left knee away, you're also working your biceps. So strong. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, grab both weights. We're gonna come very slowly. Expect a head brush, that's okay. Inhale, exhale for four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Reset up your warrior two on the left side and then pivot off your back heel, lifting your right heel face forward. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale your weights down to heart center, adding the lunge with a wide bicep curl. So elbows in, arms out, down and up, down and up for eight, seven. Six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, hold it down and pulse. So we're gonna pulse for three, step in for four, here we go. One, two, three, and four, step it in. One, two, three, and four, two more. One, two, three, four, last one, we lift it up. One, two, three, and four. One legged to the asana mountain pose. Keep your right knee lifted, flex your right foot. Inhale your hands up, kick out, in, out, in. So you're leading with your right heel, out, in. Last bit, stay strong. Shaking is really good, you're working on your balance. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your waist to half center. Big step back with your right foot. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, all the way down, low lunge. Drop your waist. Train your left foot with your hands and then use your core. When I say use your core, pull your belly button in. Engage your abs and then step your left foot back to your right foot, high plank. Shift forward, lower all the way down to your belly. Look towards the right. You did it. You did great. You did it on both sides. Go back to your back. Give yourself a mental pat on your back. Beautiful. Turn and look towards the left so you can even out your neck. Catching your breath. Allowing the fresh oxygenated blood to flow through your body. And then turn around and lie on your back. We're going to close out with a little bit more of core. It's the last one, I promise. Starfish crunch. So lie on your back. Legs are wide open and your arms are wide open. You're going to inhale. Come up with a straight back. And exhale. Reach for opposite toe. And then lower very slowly. So come, go with me. Inhale. Come all the way up. Exhale. Reach for opposite toe. Lower all the way down. This is starfish crunch. As high as you can go, lower with control. So lower very slowly. The slower you go in these exercises, the more you engage. You're here just for four. For three. Two. And one. Nice job. Lower all the way down. Pull your knees into your chest. Gently rock from side to side. You did it. Notice how amazing you feel. I don't know about you guys, but I feel these 40, 45 minutes just fly by. It's great to share your energy. Beautiful. Set up a happy birdie. Bring your feet together, like in prayer. And then grab from the outside edges of your feet. Press your lower back into the mat. And only when you feel that engagement of your lower back, start to extend your feet up towards the ceiling. If you're not feeling that, it's okay. You can keep your feet together in prayer. The goal is to keep your lower back on the mat. The goal is keep, to keep your, eye, your neck flat out on the mat. Beautiful. Slowly rock from side to side. Breathe. Think of all the obstacles you overcame. How strong you are mentally, physically, emotionally. Taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. You know, if you have a positive attitude, you're not looking for happiness in everything else but yourself. Everyone else around you will be happy. 
All right, slowly bring your knees in, curl up to give yourself one final tight hug, bring your forehead to your knees, flex your feet, squeeze your pelvic floor muscles, squeeze your booty, squeeze your belly button in, one tight loving hug for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly extend your legs straight out, come into a comfortable lying position, set up for your Shavasana. It's really, really important that you take a few moments, a few breaths, ideally anywhere between two to five moments. Let the body do its thing. Don't interfere. And when you're ready, slowly wiggle through the fingers and your toes. Roll over to one side, and any side is okay. Rest your head in your upper arm. Curl up into a fetal position. I'm feeling warm, you do need energy. And slowly make yourself your way up to a seated position. Sit with your legs crossed. We close the practice with one final deep breath. When we take this breath in, we're actually inhaling all the positive each energy from each other. Really taking in all the benefits. Bring your palms together in prayer. Bring your palms down to your heart center. Bow your forehead forward towards your fingertips. Namaste. Great job, everyone. I'm so proud to see all of you work so hard.